What's going on guys? It's your boy Ajen back again for another Alchemy Stars video. And for today, let's talk about some of my endgame ideas. Not a one-time clear endgame idea, but a more engaging and rotating endgame mode. So if you've been playing Alchemy Stars for quite some time now, the repeatable endgame modes are a joke. Secret territory is sweepable, and the Calamity Codex is something that is not worth grinding for the top ranks. So if we will go if we go to the Calamity Codex, you can see here that uh, you can even see here my Calamity Codex ranking for last week. I am unranked. That is how forgettable this game mode is. I forgot to do Calamity Codex last week, so I have no rank. I only do Calamity Codex when I am trying to do some showcase, but that's it. If I'm not doing any showcase, I usually just forgot to do it since it is not that engaging. It's pretty boring, not gonna lie. Now, what is this endgame idea that I have? My idea is tied to Calamity Codex. I have this idea way way back and I was supposed to present this idea if I was selected in the focus group, but sadly, I did not make the cut, so now I will just share it with you guys. In the hopes that maybe Turdog will watch my video, and maybe Turdog will try to implement this, this idea of mine. Turdog really needs to rework Calamity Codex. As I've said earlier, it is a forgettable game mode, honestly. So here's my proposal for the Calamity Codex rebound. Make it a seasonal event. For example, make it a two-month event. We will still maintain the weekly rewards that we usually get, but there will be a seasonal reward and that is based on the rankings. How do we compute the rankings? We will compute the ranking by totaling all the damage that the players dealt on the weekly bosses. So for two months equals eight weekly bosses. So of course, the higher the total of your damage across all eight weekly bosses is, the higher rank is. So it is going to be a seasonal ranking event. That is my proposal for Calamity Codex. Uh, this, uh, these weekly rewards, we still get this one. But on top of this one, we have a seasonal uh, ranking event besides this one. The, the season will run for maybe at least 2 months or 3 months depending on how Tour Dog will implement it. That is my idea for this one. Now let us talk about the rewards. This is where I will see a lot of players might trace their eyebrows and maybe argue because I am expecting a Wills versus F2P ag argument. Don't worry about that guys. Chill and listen to what I have in mind. What I am proposing for the rewards will not divide the F2P and the Wills in regards with the reward currency. We can just apply the same Lam Amber and Calamity Codex box reward distribution the same as the one we got from the weeklies, like for this one. Uh, for example, the Legendary, Paragon, Visioning, Diamond all have the same Lam Amber and Codex box rewards. Then Diamond and Glorious Platinum have the same rewards, and so on and so forth. For the amount of the rewards, I'll let Turdog decides for that one. But aside from the usual Lam Ambers and Calamity Codex box that we usually get, your dog should add the Calamity Codex token and add the Calamity Codex token exchange shop. The tokens that you can get depends on your ranking of course. Now, what I want for the Calamity Codex token shop to include are the usual leveling and ascensioning mats but the most important of all is to add the previous welfare units and their soul numbers to this Calamity Codex shop. That way, even beginner players or players who miss out on these welfare units will still get a chance to get them. But it does not end there. You might think that there is still no point for endgame players to compete or to try hard for higher ranks if these are somewhat the same rewards as the weekly codex. Your dog should add a different avatar frame rewards based on your rankings. Just take a look at the avatar frame rewards from Epic 7 the design varies based on your ranking. So let us go to my Epic 7 account. So we are here at the World Arena. This is the live PvP for uh, Epic 7. We are now at current season, uh, Conquest season. 
So let us go take a look at the rewards here. This is what I'm talking about. The avatar frames here, the rewards for the top 100 is this one. The emperor also is this one, top 1000. And then for the champion, it becomes different, right? This one has more, uh, what do you call this, uh, aesthetic of uh, glistening uh, like this, the gold glistening. This one is a bit different from this one. And then the champion, a bit different from this one. And so on and so forth. Uh, look at this. Uh, these are the avatar frames that I'm talking about that should be implemented if Tour Dog happened to implement this uh, ranking event in the Calamity Codex. Tour Dog should learn a lot from Smilegate since Epic 7 has been running for more than 3 years now and their PvP rewards is really something. I get this idea from them. Why not add different avatar frames based on your rankings, right? It is a pretty good idea, just like this one. And the avatar frames does not give a player huge advantage in the game since it is just pure cosmetics. So the argument of whales versus F2P is negligible. And it still does not end there since I got the idea from Epic 7. Here in Epic 7, in the live PvP, Players can obtain a skin or cosmetic. This one, the Arabi skin here. This is the rankings that you can uh, obtain a skin up to master rank. Um, now, I think this is the best time for Tour Dog to introduce skins for the 3-star units. Since these skins will technically be free and will most likely be obtainable by everyone. The ranking requirement to obtain the 3 stars should not be too steep. So if we take a look again at the ranking in the Calamity Codex. So the ranking requirement to obtain the 3 star, it, they will implement this one, should not be too steep. And I think having the skin available for the Diamond Rank, this one, the 1.8, uh, in this rank, Diamond Rank. I think having the free skin for the seasonal uh, ranking event in Calamity Codex, in the diamond rank is very much plausible so what do you guys think it's a pretty cool idea right the resources rewards will not divide the f2p and the whales because the top price would be the avatar frames and as i've said earlier avatar frames does not give a player a huge advantage or benefits in the game since it is just purely cosmetics it may not seem that much but i think it is a good motivation for the player base to engage in calamity codex and I think this would be a good rotating endgame mode for us. Anyways, I think that's it for me for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time. Peace.